the U.S. intel is not only spying on Russia, it's spying on the Ukraines. So the U.S. government must have known, I think, for, forgive me if I'm extrapolating beyond uh, what is rational to the military mind, the U.S. government must have known that those uh, drones were going to be f uh, fired. And since they were going to be fired into Russia, I would think somebody um, at the Pentagon or even the White House ought to have known that, either signed off on it or knowingly looked the other way. Your thoughts on this? Well, more details are emerging slowly about these actions. The one at Engels Air Force Base was the most serious one, not because it did any damage. It killed some people, but it didn't do any serious damage. It killed but Russians. That, that, yeah, but that base uh, is the centerpiece of the, uh, let's put it this way, the airborne nuclear deterrent. So that attracted a lot of attention. Uh, the other base is much less important. And I, I don't know anything about how much damage was done at this fuel storage area. Luckily for the Russians, fuel is the least of their concerns. They're swimming in it. So that's not going to make much difference. There, there is information that is beginning to emerge that suggests that these drones were not launched from Ukraine. They were launched from within Russia. And what most Americans don't understand is that Russia is enormous in size. Its border is not uniformly protected as it was under the Soviet Union. There are vast areas of the Russian border that are open. And you can move into Russia from the Caucasus, from Central Asia, uh, even potentially over the border from Finland, though this doesn't appear to have been the case this time. So it's not impossible that these drones were launched and then small teams of people infiltrated near the targets and provided the last terminal guidance to these aircraft. Okay, now, well, we know about Russian, we know Ukrainian saboteurs are in Russia because we know yeah. of the car bomb assassination that occurred right. almost under Putin's nose a few months ago. Right. You, you know, there, there's something else here. There's a possibility that these drones, which are very large, by the way, these are not small by any means, may have flown where commercial airliners fly. They could have even had transponders on them that conveyed the impression that they were commercial, not oh, military. We, we just don't know, but that's a distinct possibility. So if they launched them from inside Russia, used uh, commercial airline approaches through the country, that would have masked what they were. And that explains why the integrated air defenses did not pick up on them. Okay, let's get back to who could have authorized this or known about it. Is it well, an awful lot of things happen, Judge, that uh, may or may not reach the President of the United States. I know that's okay. frightening to people, but we need to come to terms with that reality. Okay. You have a national security advisor. There is a, a special portion of the law in which the President devolves some key responsibilities that he, he has to his national security advisor that right. allows the national security advisor to sign off on certain activities. This includes, for instance internal domestic surveillance. Just because the National Security Agency or the CIA or the FBI or anybody wants to do something that in, it has an impact on national security, and they may want to do it internally or externally, doesn't mean they can do it. It has okay, to be let's, let's get to the drones. Is it more likely than not that somebody in the U.S. would had to have known ahead of time, not necessarily approved, but known of it because of U.S. intel. Um, hey, Langley, do you know what they're up to? They're, they're in Russia. They have the equipment there. They're flying drones that look like the commercial airlines, and these things are about to blow up a, a Russian fuel depot, and it's 200 miles from Putin's house. You should know about it. Is such a communication likely? Uh, I think the CIA knows, without a doubt. The National Security Agency knows. That's indisputable. Uh, whether they knew all the details and the people that were guiding these and where they were launched from, that's another matter. But they were definitely okay. involved. Remember How? that they struck the bridge to, yeah. you know, and that was done, we now think, by the SAS, the United Kingdom uh, MI6 armed entity, special operations forces. So we don't know who did this. But did, were people aware that it was going to happen? Undoubtedly. Wouldn't Russian intel have known that something was coming at Russia, either from Ukraine or from within Russia? 
they may have, but they may not have known, as I said earlier, that they were going to use the commercial airline routes or approaches as cover for these things. Okay. They may not 